Like most people, I set my alarm for a specific time in the morning. Often, though, instead of waking me up at the sight of the rising sun in the morning, I end up waking up and looking outside and seeing nothing but darkness. And that's why in this episode, I will be making an alarm that wakes me up based on how bright it is outside instead of the time. Hey Arduino, let's build a project. I've listed out the materials you'll need for this project on screen. If you need to gather your materials, I would do that right now. There are three main parts to this project. The first is the setup, the second is the light sensor, and the third is the logic that brings everything together. The first thing we have to do is our setup. The purpose of this is to set up our initial variables, our pins, and initialize those pins. So first we create uh, variables to store the pins that our components will be on. For example, our photoresistor, our speaker, our button, and our LED. Those are equal to the pins they are on on the Arduino. Next, we have variables that will be used later on in the code. We have a variable that will store whether or not the alarm is on, a variable that will store the value of the photoresistor or light sensor, and we have something called the threshold, which is a number that represents after how much light the alarm will go off. And inside of our setup function, we initialize all of these pins. One important part of this project is the light sensor. This is how we measure light. It's a resistor, but it's sensitive to light, and the resistance changes based on the light. Basically, what we do is we send in a 5 volt power and then on the other side we connect it to ground and then in the middle of that right here we measure what's coming out of the resistor the electricity that makes it through and we measure that in analog pin zero now this is part of the entire schematic and if you want to see this this whole schematic and um, the instructions there's a link in the description below now we're just getting into the action of things in the loop function, we change the value of the variable val to be the new value of the photoresistor, which is basically the reading of the current light. Now, we also make a new variable called btn val, which is button val, which is the value of the button, whether or not it's being pressed. Now, if it is being pressed, then we're going to um, chain, we're going to make the value of alarm on the opposite of what it is. So if it's on, it'll turn it off. If it's off, it'll turn it on. Finally, we add a little delay to make sure that it won't run this function twice. It'll wait for you to stop pressing the button. Now, next we check if the alarm is on, then we'll write to the LED to be high so it indicates that the alarm's on. Otherwise, it indicates that the alarm's off by turning off the LED. And in the final if statement, we check if the value is over the threshold and the alarm is on, basically all the conditions we need for the alarm to go off. Then we'll wait while the alarm is on and we'll check if um, the button is being pressed. Then we'll reverse that and it'll stop this loop and it'll press the speaker. It'll make a sound with the speaker and it will set a delay for 500 milliseconds and then it'll turn it off. Basically, a wake up alarm. You've come to the end of the video. Firstly, you can always find all the information and resources used in this video, and there's a link to a blog post which teaches you more about how to make this project. Now, for your own benefit, I would recommend that you subscribe because you'll never miss any of these projects or the videos. Now, if you're interested in doing more Arduino, you can find a link to an ultimate beginner's guide to Arduino, and you'll also find a link to buying an Arduino and an, an ultimate starter kit for the Arduino.